Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining the concept of sensible cooling. So, let's get started. In order to explain this, I'll draw a diagram. So sensible cooling, it is a process in which we are going to reduce the temperature for a given air without changing its moisture content. For that here we have a diagram in which there is this cooling coil in which a refrigerant is flowing and that refrigerant will absorb the heat of the incoming air. Here the incoming air is at travel temperature TdB1. And when it passes over this cooling coil, which is having the dry bulb temperature as TdB3, so the temperature of air will go on reducing, that is the heat from the air would be absorbed by the refrigerant and the air will leave at a much lower temperature which is at TdB2. So here TdB2, the dry bulb temperature of the outgoing air is less than the dry bulb temperature of incoming air due to the sensible cooling process and here we have a cooling coil whose temperature would be the lowest here it means the dry bulb temperature for the cooling coil would be less than the dry bulb temperature of the air which is leaving In other words, we can say that the air which is leaving will not attain the temperature of the cooling coil because some amount of air would pass on the cooling coil whereas the remaining air would bypass it. So that is why we are going to have the dry bulb temperature at exit greater than the temperature of the cooling coil. So in this arrangement, the cooling coil is having the lowest temperature. Now I would be showing this process on the psychrometric chart which I'll draw it roughly to explain it. So the scale which I have drawn, it would be indicating the specific enthalpy denoted by small h and the unit is kilojoule per kg on this horizontal line would be the dry bulb temperature denoted by dbt then this vertical line would indicate the specific humidity of air denoted by w unit would be kg per kg of dry air that is in 1 kg of dry air, how much kg of water vapor is present that is indicated by the specific humidity. Now, to explain this process on the psychrometric chart, air which is entering the coil, it is at TdB1. So, roughly I am assuming that the dry bulb temperature 1 TdB1 is in this region. Then, in order to get point number 1, which is the state of the air entering we should have another line or curve here like for example if we have the relative humidity of the air which is entering at 1 or the wet bulb temperature then we can have 0.1 I am just showing it with an example that if we have the relative humidity I am denoting it as RH1 for air 1 or if we have the wet bulb temperature then we will get the intersection because by having the single property we cannot plot the point on the psychrometric chart so at least two properties should be known so for the incoming air the dry bulb temperature is known the relative humidity for an example here so this gives me point number one then 
since it is a sensible cooling process the temperature of air should go on reducing that is dry bulb temperature 2 is less than dry bulb temperature 1 so just follow the horizontal line and suppose I am taking an example that here we have dry bulb temperature 2 TdB2 and this is the point number second for the outgoing air then the temperature of the coil is the minimum in the process here so plotting TdB3 for the coil temperature this will indicate point number 3 so this process 1 to 2 when I join them the points 1 and 2 will give me the sensible cooling that is starting from point 1 up to point 2 the dry bulb temperature goes on reducing but the specific humidity of the air remains constant that is W1 is equal to W2 so that is the sensible cooling process and further when we see here here we can get the difference between the cooling coil temperature and the temperature of outgoing air then plotting these points on the specific enthalpy line and these lines are the wet bulb temperature lines plotted onto the specific enthalpy lines H1 minus H2 would give us the amount of heat which has been removed from the air during the sensible cooling process so amount of heat removed I am denoting it as capital Q that is the total amount of heat removed it would be the mass flow rate of air into the enthalpy difference that is H1 is over this point and here we have H2 so M dot into H1 minus H2 gives us the amount of heat which has to be removed from a given air and the unit here M dot is in kg per second specific enthalpy kilojoule per kg kg and kg will get cancelled out so kilojoule per second is kilowatts so finally the unit of Q would be in terms of kilowatt so in this way we can calculate the amount of heat removed from a given amount of air by using the psychrometric chart and with the help of the problems we can finally understand with the values that how to solve such problems so in short that was a video regarding sensible cooling at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching